Hey what's up guys, it is Sykur Sam here and welcome back to the channel and today guys I am super excited because we have finally got Unity 2018.1 in early access. And in this video I am going to show you guys how the features look and we're going to talk about them a little bit and we're going to have an open discussion in the comments section for that matter. So make sure to check it out and leave your opinions on this version and if you enjoyed the video guys drop a like down below and also hit subscribe to stay up to date for new videos coming soon and let's get started with this. So the first feature I want to cover up for this video guys, it's the new shader graph tool which is basically a shader designing tool which requires 0% coding. So it is very easy to work with from what I've tried before recording this video, especially since I highly dislike coding shaders personally. I don't know about you guys, but I'm a coder, I'm a programmer, I'm a developer, but I hate the shader coding. So this is a very easy tool for me to use whenever I'm creating something now. So I think we can try it out right away. Um, as you can see, we're in Unity, the new beta that was released. I am going to link the download page in the description down below. We're also in the sample project which is also on the same download page so if you want to use it for trying this new shader tool out you can download it right there so as you can see we have a elephant here <laughs> obviously unity has to be funny with their names so and they're doing a good job i have to be honest here so as you can see we had the normal shader here we are in the sample scene in the sample project and um, just like before you can simply double click on the elephant shader here that you want to edit and it will open up a new window now before it used to open up in Visual Studio or whatever IDE you were using mainly. And now you have this shader tool, um, the new shader graph tool, which you can use for pretty much editing everything and creating your shaders. So as you can see, it looks much like the blueprint editor, which I kind of like. I like this design. I like this. I like this uh, simplicity and the dark theme that they have added. I believe. I don't want to speculate, but I hope they keep the dark skin for for at least this point, uh, for the free users, for us plebs here. <laughs> So as you can see, I was th I was thinking of actually editing the glowiness for, for this little game object that we have, the elephant. So you can pretty much just see that we have the values pre-added here because it's obviously a shader that was already created. And we have this value at 50, so you can change it to, you know, 1 or something like that. And you will see a live preview both here in the preview window and also here which is where the asset is located normally or the texture is located normally. So you can also fold and unfold these things, which is super, super useful. You can also unfold these to have a preview of the texture you're editing. For example, this is a little like low kind of effect. So you're gonna see this window, you're gonna see this white texture becoming a little bit grayish, etc. over a time. And um, you can edit all these features from here. And the simplicity of this is mainly because you skip coding and you have these nodes that you can connect to each other. So say I want to connect this to something here. I can just literally click, drag, and boom. It's right there. So it replaces the other one that was created. I hope I didn't butcher that. So you can undo it too, which is super, super useful. And since this is actually a regular toolbar or a editor window for unity you can literally click right click on top on top left and you can just pick add tab and add whatever tab you want to so i could have my game window here i can have it attached to the same window it's crazy the amount of things you can do and this is because mainly because of the simplicity that comes with unity's ui and that was a little demo for the shader graph. It's pretty pretty much a shader designing tool which I really like and I believe that it's going to be revolutionary for Unity since a lot of people didn't really like coding the shaders. Instead they could, you know, pick whatever they want and just design it from there. Now let's hop on to another feature guys. There's also a new rendering architecture which is Scriptable Render Pipeline, the SRP. And it's basically a new real-time rendering architecture which according to their description will give us 
us, the developers, the power of modern hardware and GPUs without digesting millions of lines of C++ code in the engine. And to make that more basic, they pretty much just added the fact that SRP will make it easy to customize the rendering pipeline via C Sharp code and material shaders directly. And Unity also stated this, we will provide out of the box templates that take advantage of SRP and are optimized for different scenarios, starting with lightweight and high definition pipelines. The lightweight one targets general cross-platform scenarios and the high definition one is for a scenario with ambitious graphical goals aimed at the most powerful platforms like high-end PC slash consoles. And they also added SRPs in the experimental stage and you can, of course, continue to use the built-in rendering pipeline and its various configuration options. So basically, if you want to stick a little bit more legacy, you can do that because you have the option to. And we finally have a little bit of new info on the C-sharp job system. And if you guys haven't heard of C-sharp job system before, it's pretty much just a multi-threaded system that will make it possible for your game to fully utilize today's multi-core processors without heavy programming overhead. Basically, it will help you, the developer, to make sure that your game runs smoothly on the new hardware and new processors released. And this is what Unity Technologies said in the latest post. During the beta 2018.1 cycle, we will also make the C-sharp job system and the experimental entity component system available. These will make it easier to write safe, multi-threaded code and increase performance. And now last but not least, they also have some changes to the system requirements for Unity, the editor to work perfectly fine. So they have removed support for Windows XP in standalone builds, Windows Vista is now the earliest OS in Windows you can build your games to. And I mean, I can't really find any problems with this since nobody else than my dad uses Windows XP anymore. UT has now also deprecated support for Mono Develop, finally, and Visual Studio is now the recommended and supported C Sharp editor for both Mac OS and Windows. And amongst a few other points too, they removed support for Wii U. And that is pretty much it for this video, guys. Let me know in the comments what you think of these changes and what you think of the Unity. 2018.1 beta, especially the shader graph, because I am super excited in that bad boy. All in all, it looks like Unity is going to have a good start in 2018. I'm really pumped to see what updates they actually unfold after this open beta too. And guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you all enjoyed. I'll be waiting for your comments down below stating what you think of this new beta version being released, and especially shader graph, like I said, especially that one. And if you enjoyed the video, make sure to hit the like button down below below and also subscribe to make sure you stay up to tune for all these new content that is going to be uploaded. We have some level designs planned, we have a few giveaways planned up the sleeve and we have some tutorials coming up so make sure to subscribe and turn on the bell notification so that you get notified whenever we upload. And guys the question of the day, question of the video is going to be what do you think of Unity in 2018? Is it worth using? Is it not worth using? Are you switching over to another engine or are you going to go with Unity? Let us know in the comments, I'll be waiting for your replies. And with that being said, one last time, thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you in the comments and in the Discord server. See you guys. One more try.